How do you get visitors that interact with your brand to turn into paying customers? Well, I'm glad you're joining me today because that's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to another episode of the eCreate Biz podcast. I am your host, Kayla Becker, talking about what it's really like to navigate through the challenges of running an online business, how to get your work to serve you and your family without burnout, how to gain the freedom of a well-structured business and develop the daily habits that create this success. So, all right, in today's environment, you only have got a split second to get somebody's attention. It's a very distracted, orientated world. You gotta face it, that's what it is. And it's not going away anytime soon. And as it happens to be, when someone interacts with your brand, you've only got a split second. And that's the way the culture is going these days. I mean, social media has figured that out a long time ago. They figured out how to be able to get people's attention and how to make them stay. They've built a captivating system. And the audience that is on those systems, they have a hard time pulling themselves away and it's become a problem, right? And then not only that, you have your phones with your notifications, all kinds of things go on in the day. And it's all to get your attention. So there's a bit of a battle going on in today's environment because you're trying to reach somebody who's got all this going on. So you've actually got to be able to introduce your brand to these people. And you got to be able to go beyond the introduction. You got to have them interact with your brand. So this is your chance to make it shine. Your chance to make your brand shine. Um, it's not a good time when someone first comes to interact with you to talk about yourself. It's not a good time for that because when somebody is able to come into your system and see your brand, whether it's your website or whether it's a landing page or whether it's something that you've got going on, when they've come in and it's the first time they've interacted with you, they're interested in themselves. So you have to talk about them. You have to make this interaction about them. Don't talk about yourself. There's another time and place to talk about yourself, talk about your story. And I'm going to get to that later. But for that first initial meeting, that first initial setup, when someone comes into your, your website, let's call it, um, it's got to be about them. That's the only way that they're going to show interest. Okay. So you got to make it about them. The only place to be able to talk about yourself or your brand and your story and your mission is when you've got their attention is to have that interaction later. And it's going to be a several touch points as time goes on. And the best way to do that, the absolute best way to do that is through the email. That's the best way at this point and this time in our lives. And for many years to come, email is the way that you can be able to show up and be able to interact with them and they where they can pay attention. Okay. So you might be wondering, well, how do I get their email address? What's the best way to get that email address? And that's what I want to break down and talk about today. But I want to first, before we go into that, is I just want to make sure that it's very clear that when someone interacts with your brand, and I'm going to repeat this, is that the time and place to talk about yourself comes later. The most important aspect is to get their attention and it's by talking about themselves and making them enthused or inspired with what your message is so that they want to take a further step and that's giving you their email address in exchange for something in return. Okay. So how can we get email addresses? Let's go into that. Let's go into idea number one. The best way to do that is by giving them something free. Okay. Don't ask them to pay, buy anything yet. That's not the time to do that. So you want to offer something free. So some kind of a PDF guide, um, maybe an ebook, 
maybe it's a cheat sheet, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a planner or a or a system, or maybe it's let's say uh, a daily inspirations, whatever it is, some kind of a free thing that you know it's going to help them. All right. So the free thing needs to be accessible, needs to be easy to get. Um, it, it needs to be something that's digital, something that you don't have to ship to them because you want to make this streamlined, you want to make it efficient, you want to make it to where they're getting it right away, there's no wait time, all right? So you offer the free thing, whatever it is, in exchange for their email address. All right, where do you offer this? What's the best places to offer that? Well, the best places to offer that are um, going to be hosting it on your website, all right? Uh, it's very easy these days to set up a domain um, and then to host that inside of a website somewhere, some kind of a web hosting platform. There's many out there. WordPress is a good one to use and, uh, or Kajabi, things like Kajabi. That's an all in one platform. And I use currently use both, but that's a great place to host your, your website. All right. Uh, and in that you can, again, you host this free item for them all right so inside of your website uh, the best place to have this is on your homepage, right on your homepage. and i like to put the free thing above the fold and what i mean above the fold is when you're on a mobile device and before you scroll before you scroll on a mobile device that top part of the phone on the screen that's above the fold and that's where you need to be able to speak to them directly to them and offer the free thing with a clear button, call to action button that says instant access and they can click it before they do any scrolling. Okay, the next best place is in the menu above. The menu above on your website needs to be very simple, very streamlined, but again, to where it can offer that free thing to where it's just an easy button for them to click on it. All right. The next spot will be um, inside of a blog post. Do you have blog posts on your website? If you do, it's a great place to host your free things and just have them there always on every blog post so that they can easily go over to it, click it, and be able to access it. Because you got to think about it this way, that when someone shows up on your blog post, that might be the first time they've interacted with your brand, okay? They might not have seen your homepage. So that's the best, you got to think about it that way. Each, each and every step of the way inside of your brand, look at it as this might be the very first place they've interacted with you. And so your blog post could be the very first post they've ever read. And so in that, they're going to be able to see that you have this free thing to offer. All right. If you have a e-commerce store and you have digital products or you have physical products, if you have an actual store where they can actually add it to their basket, that's another great place to add your free thing. Um, as they go through your products, there might be a pop-up or there might be something on a sidebar or there might be something that shows up that they can actually get something for free. Um, and as they're going through the checkout process, right? Whether it's in the product side or as it's in the checkout, you can offer that free thing because you don't know at what point they're going to back up or back away and leave and they might not ever come to your store again. So I would rather have their email address over the sale. Okay, and I'll, I'll get to that again a little bit later, the reason why that is. So just to kind of go over that again, the best place to host, one of the places to host this free thing is inside of your website, which is on your homepage, on the menu bar up top, there's a button uh, inside of your blog post, and also inside of your store and also any other place that you have inside of your website. Well, it might even be a podcast, right? It might even be um, a place where you host all your videos. Whatever the case is, that free thing is going to show up on each and every page so that your visitors will be able to be invited to get the free thing in exchange for their email. All right. Now, the next place to do this is if you're going to be inside of social media, which I recommend that you are, some some social media place somewhere, some touch point that makes sense for you. But the free thing will be also listed inside of your bio 
which Instagram calls a bio, um, TikTok or some places like that. And I don't recommend all social platforms. I'm, I'm not in every platform. I'm only in one. I choose LinkedIn for, um, that's where I, I reach out to people uh, inside of social. So, but inside of my description, I, again, I make it about them. I make it about the people that I'm seeking to serve. And in that, I offer the free thing for them. And that's, that's how they interact with my brand inside of the social. All right. So when they want to go and they want to learn more about me and they click on my profile, they'll see that what I've, what I'm about, but it's more like about how it helps them. And then it's going to have that click on this to get the free thing, right? That's all inside of my, my profile. And then the posts that I do, of course, right? If you're going to be doing posts and you're going to be inspiring people with, with these, with these different posts, again, you're going to want to be putting your link to your free thing there as well. Like a lot of people, they like to put their, their website as a link inside of their, their social and, uh, which is cool, but I, I have to kind of question that and say, you know, really, I want the email address because as they interact with you on social, they might not become a follower of you on social and see your post daily. They might only see it one time. And so with that, I would like to, instead taking them to my website where they might get bombarded with more steps and links for them to click on rather just take them to one place which is going to be my free thing and it's going to be like a landing page where i talk about the free thing and it's going to be a link for them to sign up and that's coming straight from social so the only way that they interact with my brand at this point is they found out that they can get something that will help them let truly help them i've i've realized that this thing that i'm going to offer them is going to help them and i offer it in this post through this link that takes them and only place they got the only thing they can do is either x out of this thing or give me their email address and that's it and when you've got a very highly valuable and you know that this is something that's going to resonate with them they're going to want to put their email address in all right so just to kind of go over that again inside of social make sure you put your free thing in your description of your profile, uh, of your, your bio, uh, and the link that you have going, instead of going directly to your website, have it go to the free thing where they actually enter in their email address. So I just want to kind of just run over this again. Uh, you got to get their email address. The email address is better than the sale. And the ways that you can do that is by offering a free thing, which is a PDF guide, an ebook, a cheat sheet, uh, a downloadable uh, plan, uh, planner, um, you know, your imagination can run there. You know what your audience wants, but something that is valuable that will give them real value all for free. And the best places to put this and to show this to where it can be accessible is again, inside, host it inside of your website, putting it on your homepage, putting it in your menu bar, putting it inside your blog post and putting it inside of your, your shop or your store so that they have access to this free thing, thinking again, that they might only have one. This might be the only page they've ever seen. All right. And then the other place is inside of social. When you've picked up a social platform, make sure that your bio, your description, again, it's not about yourself. You're not trying to promote yourself. You're trying to promote what you can do to help and how they can get help by interacting with you, which you represent your brand. So, there you go. I hope this makes sense. It's kind of a deep topic here. I just want to cover these basics. You've got time to tell your story. Do that later and do that through your emails. All right. That's where you're going to tell your story. As they come into your email system, you're going to be able to send them emails. That's going to be able to talk more about your story. And it's all, again, it's there to be able to help them. So that's where your story comes in. So. Just wanted to bring this out to you today. I hope this helps. I hope you can see the power of this interaction again and how short of a time that you have to get somebody interested in what you're all about. You only got a split second to do this. And so you might as well make best use of that. And by offering these free things, guaranteed it's going to be a way for you to keep that connection longer with them. So before I sign off here today, um, I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to this. 
um, and who's been notified on, on this. So thanks for doing that. Thanks for subscribing because it really helps me to make sure that this gets out to people. And, uh, and by you subscribing, it helps the algorithms to be able to get this in front of more people. So thanks again. I appreciate you so much. All the best to you and your business, and I will see you in the next one. So I got a question for you. How is it going inside of your business? What is the outlook for the next six months? Can you see light at the end of the tunnel? Or are you coming up against roadblock after roadblock after roadblock that seems like there's no end in sight? Well, I've got good news for you. Today, you're tuning in, you're listening in, and I appreciate you so much. And I know what it's like to be in your shoes because I am in your shoes. I am doing the same thing you're doing. Creating a business is not easy. And I'm right there with you, and I have this guide that I know will help you out. It's called the Fast Profitable Online Business Guide. It's straightforward, it's simple, and it covers the three building blocks of an online business. What should you be focusing on? What's gonna make the biggest difference? How to position yourself? What kind of strategies should you be using? And it also has some of the most common mistakes that business owners make and how you can avoid them. Now, like I said, you've tuned in, you're listening in, I appreciate you so much. And I want you to grab that guide for free today. All you got to do is go down below this episode, there's a link, or you can go ahead and just go to ecreatebiz.com forward slash guide, that's G-U-I-D-E, and you just simply grab your guide there. That's ecreatebiz.com forward slash guide, G-U-I-D-E, or just click the link below this episode. You've got nothing to lose. It's there for you. Again, I appreciate you so much for tuning in and listening today.